Hey, so, uh, another video. A bit of a blockbuster, kind of, semi-blockbuster. I mean, you probably won't know, unless you're a baseball fan who is familiar with prospects and stuff. You probably won't know who, uh, really any of these guys are, but... So, first of all, uh, hit that like button below, subscribe to the channel, even if you don't like what you hear, subscribe anyway, help me out, and do it out of the goodness of your heart, and um, comment below, give me your thoughts. So. Uh, trying to get to 50 subscribers, I mean, hopefully by the end of the week, but that's not going to happen. So by the end of next week, or really just whenever it happens. And uh, 20 likes on the video. So, let's get into it. The Rays have traded... Matthew Liberator, Edgardo, what's his, I can't even remember his name now. Uh, let's see, Edgardo Rodriguez, and a competitive balance pick to the St. Louis Cardinals for their competitive balance pick, Randy Arozarena, and Jose Martinez. So, the reason why this is somewhat of a blockbuster, but like I said, really only amongst baseball fans who are familiar with prospects, is because Matthew Liberator is a top prospect. He's number four uh, in the Ray in the Tampa Bay Rays system, and he ranks anywhere from I think thirtieth to. Uh, uh, 63rd on various uh, prospect rankings. You know, Baseball America, MLB, Fangraphs. So, it's interesting. So, uh, Matthew Liberator is thought of to be uh, I guess his ceiling is like of a high end number three starter, which, you know, you could also say would be a number two starter on some teams. You know, he has, he has good command. He's going to hit, he has, uh, Good pitches, his best pitches is curveball, so that's always good to be able to throw a breaking curveball with uh, a lot of movement and stuff. So, I mean, his numbers in the minors aren't going to blow you away. So, I kind of understand maybe the Rays feel like they can get a lot for him. And one of the things is the Rays are looking for outfielders. That's That has been uh, sort of their goal. And if you remember, uh, they went out they traded Tommy Pham to 
the Padres and got Hunter Renfro back. And they also have Austin Meadows, who they acquired in the Chris, uh, in the Chris Archer deal. So, uh, you know, it, it's going to be, I'm not sure where, because let's see. So, uh, Randy uh, Rosarena, because Jose Martinez is a DH, really. I mean, you know, with the Cardinals, he couldn't play DH because that's uh, just how he was. He, you know, he wasn't a good fielder. He was a liability in the field. But, I mean, he's he's not a bad player. He's a good player. He hit. I mean, in 2018, he hit a, he did a lot better than in 2019. And even in 2017, he did better than in 2018. So, but last season, he didn't really do anything to wow. He's not going to hit for power. You know, he's just, he's going to hit for average. Although last season he took a step back in that department. He only hit 269. And his batting average on balls in play isn't bad. It's 328, which is about average. So uh, you could expect like his his average is probably going to be around that. For uh, to be expected for next year, and he doesn't steal bases, you know. I mean, it's not even like he strikes out really few, uh, really uh, a few, uh, a little, but you know, he, he struck out twenty two percent last year coming off 17.6% in 2018 and 19.5% in 2017. So, and he's going to be 32 midway through the season. So I'm not sure why they acquired him as opposed to like just another prospect. because. That's the other thing. The Rays signed Yoshi Tsutsugo uh, from Japan. So he's going to be their DH. G-Man Choi was productive at first base for them last year. So I I don't know. I mean, then moving on to Randy uh, Rosarena, you know, I mean, he's young. He's 24. He he got a brief cup of coffee in the majors. He only made 23 plate appearances, which is nothing. I mean, so you can't really get the sample size from that. But... I mean, his numbers in double A and triple A last year were outstanding. So, I mean, he's only 24. And I just want to check because the Rays have a hole in center field. But so he played five. So between double A, triple A, and the majors, he played uh, 43 games in center field. So he could probably, he'll probably be there. He'll probably be penciled into center field. Right now they have Kevin Kiermaier. He's not really much. But, I mean, the weird thing, I guess, 
And then Eduardo Rodriguez is not, I mean, he's really young. He's a 19 year old catcher. He's got a lot of, uh, he performed really well last year, but he was in uh, rookie ball, which means almost nothing. And, and the Rays also, so they swapped competitive balance picks and the Rays are getting the better pick, which are, which is like 30 spots apart. So uh, they could have a chance to draft a top 100 prospect, someone who's going to slide in there. Probably not, though. That's usually the top couple of picks in the draft unless something unexpected happens where, you know, like every so often, you know, you'll have a guy like Mike Trout slip And then, because baseball is a weird, the draft is weird. It's not like in the other sports. But we'll see. I mean, the other thing is the Rays have a really good development system. So, you know, it's, you might... Kind of like the thing that people are saying about the Yankees right now is that when the Yankees are willing to give up a prospect, you know, something's probably wrong because there haven't really been any trades that the Yankees have made where they've dealt prospects and those prospects have become something you know maybe they've had a good year here and there but like the one that comes to mind is Ben Gamble the Yankees traded Ben Gamble he had one really good year but that was it now he's what exactly what the Yankees thought he was a fourth outfielder not even that like a fifth outfielder so the Rays are really good in developing uh, talent, so maybe they know something about Matthew Liberator that everyone else doesn't. That could really be possible because Liberator is only in single A, so it's not like he's doing what he does in the high minors. He is. Yeah, so he last season he made uh, 15 starts in single A. So that's not a big sample size. And, uh, you know, he, he had a 3.1 ERA, but that really doesn't matter in uh, the minors. ERA especially the low minors. And you're only striking out 8.73 batters per nine. So, you know, in the low minors, especially, you tend to face a lot of inferior hitters who you could inflate that strikeout to that uh, strikeout ratio. So, I don't know, maybe they just see something that he's not going to be what he, what people think he is, and they decided to sell high. I don't know. I mean, I think there were... uh, People thought maybe Tyler O'Neill would be included in the deal. But, you know, I just don't know. I mean, we'll see. It's a, it's a trade that you can't really say who won or who lost 
until like five years down the road. Because, I mean, you could say whether, I guess you could say if the Rays draft someone, if the Rays draft a really good prospect, that in two years becomes, a, you know, what Libertor was, is. And uh, Randy Arozarena is a really good player for them. Then I think you can probably say they won because Libertor isn't going to become like a Walker Bueller or anything like that. So, I don't know. It's an interesting trade. You don't see a lot of these trades that often. You know, sort of sort of a prospect for prospect trade. I mean, Jose Martinez was thrown in there, but, you know, he's not really... He's more of a useful player than anything. You know, there are a lot of Jose Martinez's out there. But who knows? Maybe maybe the Rays, that's the other thing. The Rays could just see something in a guy like Jose Martinez and unleash him. So I don't know. And maybe not having to play the field will help him. You know, it's... No, I I really don't know, but we'll see. So that's it, guys. Uh, you know what to do. Hit that like button below. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, give me your thoughts on the deal. What do you think? And the other weird thing about this trade was it was announced that Libertor was going to the Cardinals and then it took two hours for the rest of the details to uh, come out. So people were speculating a lot of things. But that's it. So uh, see you next time. Bye.